First, assemble the angry-like connectors. You can see that each connection port had a dedicated corresponding cables. Please do not connect them incorrectly. Disassemble the connectors and thread them through the cables one by one. Strip about 15mm of insulation from the cables, then connect them to the terminal connectors. Make sure to install the connector with the icon indicating the corresponding cables. The connectors for the backup circuit has the same structure and assembly method as the Angry, so you can refer to it for assembly. Finally, tighten the securing screws once more. Cover the port with the cap and tighten all the motor connections. Only when tightened, the bottom waterproof component can function efficiently. Next, assemble the connector for the battery circuit. Similarly, disassemble the connector and thread waterproof components through the cable, pressing it onto the metal conductor. The photovoltaic connector are assembled in the same way as the battery connectors. After inserting the cable into the connector, tighten the waterproof component. Connect the circuit breaker to the battery line. Finally, assemble the communication line. After disassembling the connector, insert the communication line into the corresponding port and then reassemble the connector. Mount the inverter on the wall using the installation bracket. Secure the inverter to the wall bracket using screws. Connect the positive and negative terminal of the battery. Connect the photovoltaic array. Connect the AC terminal. Connect the remote monitoring module. Connect the communication line. Attach the positive and negative terminals at the battery end. Connect the BMS communication line to the battery CAN interface. Power up the battery. Close the circuit breaker. At this point, the inverter has successfully powered up. Scan the QR code on the right side of the device to download the required software. MatEasy is designed for local area network monitoring, providing convenient connectivity. Matt ESS is designed for cloud monitoring, providing support for more remote data monitoring. Open Matt Easy, locate the device and log in. The device name starts with the Wi-Fi AP, followed by the last eight digits of the inverter SN. Logging in is very convenient and fast. After logging in, you can view the inverter data status and device information.
Support some basic settings. At the same time, you can set up the network for the monitoring module. Select the available Wi-Fi and enter the Wi-Fi password. After confirming, you are all set. Finally, return to the main page. If you need to shut down the inverter using the app, simply click the power off button in the top right corner. Open the Matt ESS app. Create your account. You will need your email for this step. Once created, enter the relevant information as prompted to assess the main page. Next, set up the Wi-Fi module. Similarly, select the device with the name starting with Wi-Fi AP followed by the last eight digits of the inverter's SN. Then enter the Wi-Fi name and the password to set up the device. Now go back to the main page and add the device. Enter the relevant device information. At this point, a network error is displayed because the phone is currently connected to the monitoring module. Everyone can switch the connection back to Wi-Fi after configuring the network. Following the prompt, fill in the relevant device information and you have complete addition. Enter the device to view relevant data status. That concludes the basic installation, wiring and usage instructions for the Soul Expo series. In addition to smartphone app monitoring, the Soul Expo series also supports advanced debugging through an other computer interface. If you are interested, we'd be more than happy to give you a demonstration. If you have any further question about Soul Expo, please feel free to leave a comment. Don't hesitate to visit our website via the link below for more information on Pomesa products. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.